So hello uh, everyone and thank you for joining us um, for that session on clean water uh, and sanitation saves lives. Um, this panel will be there this afternoon, lunchtime, uh, depending on where you are based. Going back to before the UN actually adopted the human rights to water and sanitation as, uh, as a human right, the mandate started to already think about and companies were already starting to ask, you know, if we're looking at the social elements of water, what is our responsibilities as it relates to, to water related issues um, for communities and for people more generally? We've been working, for example, with water.org on this other part of SDG 6 for a few years now. Um, and what we've learned is that a toilet is so much more than a convenient thing that you have access to. It's um, the segue into a more dignified life. It's the segue into work, into school, into education, um, and overall prosperity for families. With SDG number six, it has a trillion dollar price tag, right? We know that we don't have the resources, the financial resources in the system right now to make that happen. We do, do need to do more to drive more resources in, as some of our corporate partners are helping us do. But we also know that a lot of this is going to have to come from the, the bottom up. And at water.org, what differentiates us is the access to finance that we're trying to deliver to so people in poverty can get the the types of water solutions that are best for them. What we're all doing is, is not nearly enough, right? As, as, as Gary mentioned, I, I couldn't agree with him more that we're not going to reach SDG number six purely through corporate efforts or, or through grants. And we need to reach scale through innovation, new approaches, new ways of financing, new partners. Um, and I think, you know, change takes time, but time is now.